you ever get one of them days where you feel like it's all bright? You know what I mean? You need to put your shades on for a bit to chill out, that sort of thing. I know normally it's just sort of a normal mundane day for me. You understand what I'm saying? But today, I sort of got put in a good mood. I mean, I'm still sort of recovering from the uh, flu. Take my glasses off. There's not that much sunshine around. Uh, I'm still sort of uh, recovering from the flu. Uh, but I got a liquid. Uh, I've got to shout about this liquid because, believe it or not, I've actually been vaping it. And it is so good. It really is. And it's this one here. And as you can see, not a 10 mil bottle. Not a 10 mil bottle. Soon to be in a 10 mil bottle. And it's from a company called Butler and Bond London. That sounds classy, doesn't it? Now, the name of the liquid in question, because I'm going to be trying this out and try to explain to you what it's like, yeah? Uh, the name of the liquid in question is Lord of the Manor. So it doesn't really give much away, but I'm, well, I'm going to tell you right now, it is actually a tobacco liquid. And uh, if I read it on it, it's tobacco with caramel and vanilla. And if you actually look at it, you can't see it there, but it's like chocolate, dark brown liquid. I mean, it looks like treacle. It really does. Uh, and uh, Butler and Bond, you know, when I seen this, I thought, Butler and Bond, that sounds like a tobacconist. That's what it sounded like. But this is the only tobacco one on their website. Uh, and after trying this, I'm actually going to try and get a couple more bottles of their liquid and see uh, what they're like. Because I've got to be honest, this, without a doubt, at this very moment, as I'm talking to you, is one of my favourite tobacco ones. So, uh, the first thing I'm going to tell you is that it's 6mg in nick level, uh, which is not the norm for me, because normally with tobaccos, I tend to sort of vape, I don't vape them so long, you know what I mean? I like to vape them in something like an EVOD tank, something like that, you know what I mean, or a pipe, that sort of thing. Uh, so, 6mg to me means that it's sub -ohm, doesn't it? Or, or it's for a dripper. So, what I've done is... Uh, I've sort of put it in two devices. I put one, filled my smock up with one, yeah, and I filled my little homemade uh, pipe up with one, which has got an EVOD tank on it, yeah. So I'm just sort of going to try and explain to you why I like this liquid so much. I'm just going to give it a quick vape. What I'll do is I'll do a quick one on the, uh, can you edit there? I'll do a quick one on the smock pipe, because uh, don't forget, this is a sub ohm device. I've got it at 0.5 ohms uh, coil in there, and I'm at, I'm only at 30 watts because I don't like a hot vape. I, I like a cool vape, that sort of thing. So we'll just go for it, show you what the vape production's like. Beautiful. I mean, that's definitely cloud chasing stuff without a doubt. That's cloud chasing stuff. Now, I'm getting the right sort of nick level on there, but it is sub ohm, so we are actually taking more vapor into our lungs. You understand what I'm saying? So, therefore, we're taking more nicotine in on every time you have a toot on it. Uh, and I've got to be honest, it is absolutely full of flavor. Now, when I first tried, I tried it before reading the bottle. That's what I did, and I thought, ooh, that's nice. That's really nice. Now, I can tell you, it's a. It's a taste of like a Virginian tobacco. That's the sort of taste of what it's like. But you've got these tones of caramel and vanilla. Subtle. Very subtle, yeah. But boy, does this make a difference. I mean, it is such a nice, sweet tobacco. I'd say it was a sweet tobacco. If you found this uh, bad in any way, it's obviously because you don't know your tobaccos. Because I've got to be honest... Favourite at the minute, favourite. And uh, as I say, that's on a sub ohm device. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to try, try it on my trusty pipe. This is what I would normally be using for a tobacco. And see how it goes on there, yeah? So here we go. Yeah. Turn that down a little bit. Turn that down a little bit. I got a bit, little bit of burning there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, to be honest, sweet on that, but you've got a little bit of a woody taste on that. 
So if you like that sort of woody tobacco, but it's still sweet, yeah? But I'm, I'm getting an extra taste on that, which I'm not getting on that. I'm not getting any woodiness at all to the tobacco on that, whereas on that I am doing. And if you were to ask me which one I prefer, I couldn't decide. I couldn't decide because, to be honest, I have to have another go of this now. I've got to admit, that sort of wins it. It wins it because I'm getting a little bit of extra sweetness to it. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting a little bit more of the tobacco coming through. I'll have another go on this. It's getting cloudy in here, isn't it? Nope, it's an hard one. It's an hard one. I could, I could use either. I could use either. And the reason why I did the two is because uh, is people out there and they use different devices, you know what I mean, for, for different liquids, that sort of thing. I tend to sort of use sub -ohm, even vaping the very, very strong breakfast-type sweet devices, uh, sweet e-juices, uh, e whereas in my tobacco, I'm more or less always on a small tank. I'm usually at around about 1.5 ohms, that sort of thing, and that that would see me through the day. That is a good chill-out one. I mean, you know, when you sit down, that's what I was saying, it put a smile on my face when I tried this, and some sunglasses. Uh, it's an hard one. It is an hard one. Would you like this? Now, you know, uh, if you watch me regularly, that I am a bit of a tobacco head. I prefer the tobaccos as against everything else. So, of course, I'm always going to shout about it. But I've tried some nasty tobaccos in the past. Real nasty ones. <coughs> Still getting older that, over that flu. Um, and I've come across some really good ones. You understand what I'm saying? And that, to me, up at the top, it's up at the top with the others. Now, whether this is an authentic tobacco, I can't actually tell you that. It's probably a synthetic, but I could be wrong on that. Uh, I am, I've been on the website and I can't see any mention of it being uh, real tobacco. Normally, if it's real tobacco, they normally shout about it and put it on there. Uh, if you've tried real tobacco, you'll know what I mean. You're getting a, I mean, this is so close. If it's synthetic, it's so close to the real stuff, without a doubt. Now, when I get back to it and say, would you like it? If you're not a tobacco head, I, you're not going to like it. You, you're just going to say, the only reason why I got away from smoking was because I, I didn't like the taste of tobacco. I was quite the opposite. I mean, I, I associate vaping with smoking, yeah? And when I moved from vaping to, uh, from smoking to vaping, I still craved that tobacco taste. And the good thing about this tobacco, it's more, if, if you ever went, I mean, not a lot of people did, not a lot of people did, but my, you know, when I was young, it was quite a few tobacconists in central Manchester. And I used to go in with my dad, uh, he'd get his pipe tobacco from there and he'd get his uh, other tobacco, what he'd make roll-ups with, that sort of thing, you know what I mean? But I, I always remember the, when I went in the shop, it smelled, it smelled bloody gorgeous. It always did. did. This tobacco was sort of brought back memories of my old fella when he used to sit downstairs in the kitchen. He never used to smoke in the front room. He used to go and smoke in the kitchen, yeah, and he'd chill out on, on a pipe. I remember walking in, I could always smell this sweet aroma tobacco it was absolutely gorgeous and that's what that's what it's doing for me that's bringing that sort of memory back i could actually sit down and vape this all night uh, and the reason why i'm shouting about it too you can say you can tell can't you you can tell how much i like this juice because i'm doing an awful lot of shouting about it i absolutely love that to death uh once again i haven't got anything else to say about that liquid it may be for you may not be for you uh it's going to encourage me to make another pipe another pipe because some of the tobacco ones now are getting really good so once again from butler and bond butler and bond from london quintessentially british i think it is it says something like that uh, quintessentially something it says on the bottle let me see if we can read it <laughs> need my glasses on again need my glasses on again <laughs> eyesight steve yep quintessentially british so it's a british uh e-juice and I've looked at the other juices on the site. I can't find one what says tobacco, uh, but I'm going to go back on since I've got that. I mean, look at the size of that bottle. Beautiful. Beautiful. 100 mil bottle. 100 mil. Just before TPD compliant. I'm hoping that I can still... I'm hoping that they might start doing it in the 100 mil bottle 
at zero. You know what I mean? Because you can get away, can get around it that way, can't they? Maybe they do, maybe they don't. So anyway, what I'll do is I'll leave a link down below uh, to their website. Yeah, uh, if you fancy trying the tobacco, I can honestly, highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. Uh, click on there, treat yourself to a bottle. If I'm wrong, you can come down and clip me around the ears, that sort of thing. But I can promise you, if you're after a good tobacco flavour, a good tobacco taste, a good tobacco... I mean, forget about the vape. You've seen the vapour production was really, really good. If you're a tobacco head like me, vapour production doesn't mean that much. It's all down to flavour more than anything. And that boy, that's got bags of flavouring. I haven't got anything else to say. Thanks for uh, clicking on and thanks for watching the review. See you.